Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs from the Board of Studies portal. I am Sianu Jolota. We are here to be doing every possible question. And this chapter is something like, you know, that I see I had introduced new. This was not there in the old course in any case. This is chapter number five. That is the models, business models for the emerging businesses. Okay, models have changed. You all have traditional way of doing a business that is make a product, okay, after doing research up and so on, okay, once a product is famous, then you start to uh, expand your scale of operations and start to like, you know, in cash on that. But these days, new teams have come, new kind of models have come, whereby companies want to be testing first whether this product will be successful or not. If it will be, then they all continue. If it is not, then they try to scrap that thing, uh, try to have some other products up and so on. These are agile businesses. Okay. Why I'm telling you this thing that if businesses are changing, it was very obvious for the institute to be changing your curriculum also. Okay. And it was put at that level whereby you can try to be thinking like, you know, that all the foreign courses, whatever type of examinations you all conduct, ICAI should be having an examination pattern, which is similar to that. So many people, they all start to be criticizing the institute for everything. I also do that. Okay. But not for everything. So this was a good kind of initiative that those guys have done. Although I still like to criticize them by saying that this subject should be made as one of the subjects which the students will have to be writing because this is common sense uh, subject. And to be very honest, okay, this is the only subject that teaches you how to be running the business. The other subjects have become rule based subjects. Uh, two things before I'll be starting with today's question. First, uh, in case you wish to be enrolling for my complete course, see the link in the description. And the other thing is that join our Telegram channel and the group for the updates over here. Okay. Let's start it off. Which of the following are components of disruptive innovation? Enabling technology, innovative business model, sustainability, coherent value network. Okay. Now, disruptive innovation in any case means what? It means that something new, something new you have innovated, which was not there in this world. And then <clears throat> to make it famous, okay, means see, anything will be disruptive when it becomes famous, okay. What are the components of that? Uh, I'll tell you the answers are one, two, and four. Okay. Enabling technology, innovative uh, business model and coherent value network. Okay. Why I wanted to be saying it first, because I wanted to give an example, just a normal example. In any case, I'll be giving one example of each one of these three things that I have told. Uh, think of any disruptive innovation that came. One thing that comes to my mind is something like you. It was an innovation that disrupted entire market. Okay, Visa and MasterCard was so famous. Debit cards were famous. If you all actually start to be thinking debit cards and UPI do exactly the same job, right? Okay, but how easy is UPI and how difficult is using a debit card? Now we all know the difference. But when UPI came, did it give us a new technology? Yes. Okay, was it safe? Yes. Were there frauds? Absolutely no, unless until you are a fool and you give your passcode to somebody else. Okay, that is unavoidable. If a person is stupid, don't call the technology bad. Second, was it a innovative business model? For Paytm, yes, it was a very innovative business model. Paytm did not charge us, but then it charged the vendors for using the Paytm. Okay, the business models, okay, whereby like, you know, on your websites, if you have a Paytm gateway, then uh, Paytm will be charging you. They all had a good model. In beginning, they all had Paytm mall also, whereby you can do shopping up and so on. Okay, coherent value network. It means what? It means that your innovation will only become disrupt, uh, disruptive when it tries to reach every nook and hook corner that is so important that is so damn important in today's world it is so damn important why because if your innovation is not going to be reaching everybody then it is not disruptive okay i launch something i launch a new product suppose like you know i launch a new watch okay just a hypothetical example Whereby whatever I think the watch does that particular thing. Suppose dial Chirag. Okay, so therefore it should dial Chirag. But then if it does not have the power to reach everybody, if it does not find the distributors, if it does not find the customers, is it of any use? No. So therefore any innovation will become disruptive when it has three things. It has a technology behind it. It has an innovative business model. And 
इट इज एक्सेप्टेड ओके बाई मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पीपल ओके इन एनी केस आंसर आर वन टू एंड फोर ओके दो फोर ऑप्शन सो वन टू एंड फोर इज सपोज टू बी द करेक्ट आंसर सो देर आंसर शुड बी फोर आई कम ओवर टू बट देन All those three things I'm saying once more. Components of disruptive innovation. The first one, enabling technology. Innovation requires ability to create a better product. The transistor uh, radio, for example, use a broadcast network to create a low-cost portable radio. Now these were the portable radios which were there at one moment of time. Okay. Now that time when this technology had come, you all you were not even born at that time. I was also not born to be honest. Okay. But then it created something like you know that. change the world forever and might be like you know this was that era which was before the internet and might be the internet was an extension of this particular thing okay but then through the networks okay we try to be listen uh, listening to somebody who was far away so therefore like you know these things became very famous okay so there has to be a technology behind it okay second second it should be disruptive or innovative business model for a disruptive business to succeed it must be made as a new business model that targets new or low end customers within a given industry this is what distinguishes a disruptive innovation even if they are unique not all innovations are disruptive example say paytm now paytm was free for all of us okay so therefore it was a low cost thing and honestly it disrupted the entire market many things came after that say phone pay up and so on i'm not trying to be saying who is better up we are not interested in that but usually we all say any innovation will be disruptive when in that case it will try to like you know target low end customers because that is where the mass is example if you think when ola and uber came it was cheaper than the normal taxis also it was cheaper than auto also yaar and that is why it became a household name and today once the prices have increased people have got used to that thing so much that there is no other option as such okay so therefore there has to be a new business model what was the business model of ola or uber what is still the business model they collect around 15 to 20% of the revenue of the taxi drivers okay that's it okay that is a simple business model okay and from there they all meet all their expenses 80% will remain with the driver driver will almost be getting the same amount that he would have got if he would have run the taxis but he is getting the customers every now and then he can run the taxi for 10 to 12 hours here as such okay so there has to be a innovative business model for that and then there is one more thing over here coherent value network okay for any model for any disruptive innovation to succeed it must be accepted against coherent value network which includes the suppliers okay example say uber also so like you know it is accepted by all of us okay it is accepted by the drivers it is accepted by the customers what else you want here there has to be a value network that is created okay if you try to launch a taxi okay there are many taxis like that if you launch a taxi which is say a uh, very premium which is say those guys will be sending the mercedes up and so on okay okay now it will not become much famous in india it might have small clients okay but not many clients as such okay there are companies who are doing that also but how many companies name you know okay who all run the mercedes ka taxi service you all don't know much right okay so it did not disrupt the market okay when mercedes type taxis came in india as i'm saying you are not even uh, aware of that did it disrupt no if it would have disrupted we would have heard of that no it did not disrupt okay so therefore for any innovation to be successful it is necessary that it creates a certain value network okay among the suppliers customers up and so on okay so therefore answer is 1 to 4 that is a correct answer my all efforts are there basically to be ensuring that i give you all the best concepts okay that is the only intention with which i try to be making a videos many people keep on saying sir why don't you make one video for all the mcqs i'm not going to be doing that i need to justify every content that i am doing i am not in a hurry okay every day we try to spend 3 or 4 hours to be making one single video what content should be there how it should be edited up and so on we all try to be doing that so therefore we can give you the best of the services that we all can one request from my side is that make our videos reach to the target audience okay you are part of so many groups on telegram on whatsapp make it reach to the right audience so therefore it is really helpful for the people who wish to be doing good in this subject by the way this is the qr code if you scan it you will get link of a playlist that has every possible mcq that we all have put till now thank you so much i'll see you all next time stay fit stay healthy smile bye